Okay, so you're looking to install the latest version of Kodi onto your Fire Stick or Fire TV Cube or Android TV. What's the best, easiest and safest way to do that? Now the entire process just takes a couple of minutes. Anybody can do it just by following the steps in this video. Now, if you didn't know, Kodi is an open source media player, very, very popular. You can get it directly from the Google Play Store. As you can see, it's had more than 50 million downloads. It supports all of your favorite video formats, audio formats, and you can also install add-ons to extend the functionality. These add-ons will give you access to movies, TV shows, sports, lots of different things. And of course, there's third-party add-ons available as well. Now to start the process on your Amazon device is just head over to the search icon where it says find. Let's click on that. Go down into where it says search. Click on that again. And I'm now going to type in the word downloader. Here we are. I can now click on that. Click on that again and click on that one more time to begin the installation. And this application is a great application. It's a built-in browser. It allows you to download applications from other sources and install them. And let's click on got it. Now, before we open this application, we need to now enable that change. So if I now press the home key, let's now go to the right and where we have the settings cogwheel, let's click on that. I'm now going to click on MyFi TV. Let's click on that again. Now here you want to click on developer options. Now, if you have a brand new Fire Stick or Fire TV Cube and you don't see this developer options menu, what you want to do is click on about. And here where you see your device type, either a Fire Stick or Fire TV Cube, just press the select button here seven times. So one, two, three, four. And you can see on mine, it says I'm already a developer. On your device, if it's the first time you've done this, when you get to the seventh click, you will get the message that you're now a developer, which means you can now press back and you will then see the developer options. So you can now click on this and where it says install unknown apps. Now, if you have a slightly older Fire Stick, you may just see an option here, which is set to off. You want to change the option to on, which again means that you can now install applications from third party or unknown sources. But as this is a newer device, I need to click on this first and we can now see my downloaded applications in here. I can now click on that. We can see that now it changes to on and this now means that I can now use Downloader to download and install any application that I like. So now that we've made that change, I can now press the home key and let's now open up Downloader for the first time. Let's click on that. I can now click on allow. Click on OK. Now where we have the, the box here where you can type something in, if I click in that, this is where you'd now type in an address like google.com or something else but you can also type in codes, which are like short codes to get to certain pages. So I've created a custom code, which will always take you to the latest version of the Kodi application. So right now, as of March, 2024, the latest version is 20.5 Kodi Nexus, but it doesn't matter if you're watching this video in March, 2024 or December, 2025, as long as you use this special code, you'll always find the latest version of this application. And that special code is just 120876. Let's type that in and click on go. And this will take you directly to that page. So here you can see the written steps for the installation guide, how to get the latest version. Scroll down, yep, it's an open source media player, works on all platforms and really in the last 20 years, I've never put anything on this application that's not been able to play. So it doesn't matter which formats you're using for your rips, for your Blu-rays, for your uh, DVD, whatever, whatever formats you've got in any video, any audio, Kodi just plays all formats without breaking a sweat. Okay, keep scrolling down. We've got the step-by-step -step instructions here. Underneath that, we can see we'll have a couple of options to choose. Now here we can see we have, so you've got 20.5 32-bit, and you got 20.5 64-bit. Now, if you're trying to do this on a Fire Stick, Fire TV Cube, really any of the Amazon devices, as those devices are running a 32-bit operating system, go for that link here. Now, if you're running this on an Nvidia Shield or maybe a device that runs a 64-bit OS, go for the second link here. Now, my device, as I'm doing this on a Fire TV, I can click on the first link. I can then scroll down and click on this green button here. 
And if you do have an older version, this will basically perform an in-place upgrade. So it should retain all of your settings, all of your customizations. It will just install the newer version of the code over it. Let's give that a second. Now, if you are looking for other add-ons, maybe more third-party style add-ons for a different kind of content, then I will show you that at the end of this video as well. For now, we can see this is installed OK. I can click on Done. Let's now delete the installation file just to get that space back. I can click on that, click on delete again. That's now deleted. I can now press the home button. Let's now go to the app library by clicking here. And let's now find the care application in the list, which we can see is there. Let's click on that. And we can see that's preparing for the first run and we are taken directly to Kodi Nexus 20.5. And the upgrade has now completed successfully. Now, as I mentioned before, um, you can use this application to play local content. You can play um, content from your NAS drive or from any other media source in your home network. If you are looking for add-ons, obviously you can look at the official add-ons which are available through the application. If you want other add-ons, then I will leave a link in the video description, which will take you to a website where you can then install all of your favorite third party add ons, add ons that will give you access to different kind of movies, TV shows, live TV. All of that content is available if you want to install those add ons inside your application. But in this video, I'm going to leave it at that. But I will just say that if you are going to be using third party add ons to access third party content, it is always advisable to use a VPN. Right now, there's a super special offer just for the next two weeks where you can get for a superb price of just $2.75 per month. So really at that price point to get total protection, keep yourself safe online, get maximum privacy. Nobody can track you. Your ISP can't see what you're doing. You can download content. You can stream content. You can take advantage of this new advanced threat protection. To get all of that at under three dollars a month i definitely think this special offer is worthwhile checking out it is only there for the next two weeks using my link does help support my channel and my work so many thanks if you want to do that have a look in the video description and pinned comment if you want to take up this special offer so really appreciate your support do like and share this video and i'll hopefully catch up with you guys real soon thanks